In this video, I'll be showing you how to download the PDFs for the blocks for the women's wear size 8 dress and also the half scale women's wear block. So first of all, we need to go to Padlet and we need to download whichever blocks we need and then we need to set our printer at 100%. Do not press scale to page or it will print out too small. There are six pages in total, so print them out. Take the first three, which will be the front, and then we need to join them together on the join line. Use some um, magic tape, put them together on the join line, and then we're going to cut them out. Okay, so that's the front prepared um, and now we need to do the back so it's exactly the same really we get the three that we need for the back and we join them together along the join line we just put a little bit of tape along there cut them out And then you can just go around and just check that all of those lines are um, filled in. Um, okay, so that's the front and that's the back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out that big dart that we've got on the front waist and I'm going to do the same to the back as well. Okay, so that's the front dart cut out. Now we have to do the back as well. Okay, so that's our front and back uh, blocks all ready to go now. So now I need to cut them out. So I'm going to get a piece of calico, 60 centimetres by one metre, and I'm going to put it on the fold. And this is because we need to, to cut a pair. So I'm going to start off with the back. So I'm going to put the back, and the centre back is going to be about three centimetres over from the fold line. I'm just going to pop two pins in there just to keep it secure and to stop it moving around. And make sure that the centre back line is completely parallel with the fold line. Um, and now I'm going to draw around the block. I'm going to do that with um, a B pencil, which is quite soft so that I can see it. So yeah, draw all around the block, armhole, side seams. We need to do the dart as well. We're going to use that dart to give us some waist shaping later whenever we put it onto the mannequin. So we need to know the position and size of the dart. Um, and the centre back obviously needs marking up as well. We're going to put a seam at the centre back so that we can get in and out of the garment. So now we've marked it up we can remove the, um, the paper pattern but one thing I need to do is I need to extend this um, block really because this block just goes to the, to the hip line currently so I'm going to add another 30 centimetres onto the length and I'm just going to mark that directly onto the calico. If I wanted to make a long dress I could obviously add longer. So you need to extend that side seam. So if you just put your ruler, just keep going. Um, and you need to fill in the center back line and then mark up the hem. Um, and the next job that we need to do is we need to add some seam allowance on the side seam, the shoulder and the center back. So to do that, we're gonna just add one centimeter all around. We don't need to put it on the neckline and the armhole when we're making twelves with um, out sleeves, we don't bother. So we would like to have a centimetre. So 
So just mark a centimetre over from your what will actually be your sewing line eventually. Need to do it at the centre back. So just marking up that one centimetre over with my ruler. I'm just making those two marks there. They indicate the back armhole. So now we're ready to cut out. So we need to keep the two layers of calico together for the back because remember we've got two um, parts to the back. If you feel like they're going to move around, pop some pins in there, but they shouldn't really move that much. And then cut the whole thing out going along the um, new um, seam allowance lines that you've indicated. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to put the back dart onto the other side because we've only marked it on one side. So I'm going to need to get the pattern again. I've just indicated the top of the dart using a pin going through. Um, place the pattern on top, upside down obviously, because we're working with pairs. Um, you can see the seam allowance. And then just with your pencil, just mark on there exactly where the dart's supposed to go using your pencil. And then that's done now, so you can take the pattern off, take the pattern away. And now you can see you've got two backs and it's, it's a pair rather than two the same direction because obviously it's a mirror image. So um, we've got to do the front now. So we again need a piece of calico, 60 cm by one meter long. And I placed it on the fold. Now this time we want to place our front directly on top of the fold because we do not want a seam line through the centre front. So just pin it down. And then if you can do exactly what you do to the front, what you did to the back, so you need to add the 30 centimetres length, mark all around and add seam allowance just at the shoulder and side seam only. I'm marking that, that one notch there indicates that it's a front armhole. Um, and then we've got, I've cut it all out and I've marked up on both sides now where the darts are. And I just want to show you how to close up the darts before we start. So what we need to do is we need to put one dart leg on top of the other one in, in order to create the dart shape. So what I do is I take the top dart leg and I kind of give it a little finger press just to make it a little bit flatter. And then I put that line on top of the other line and then I pin it. So I'm pinning with the end of the pin going towards the side seam and all the pins should be in the same direction. You can do this on the mannequin if you like, but I think it's easier to do it while it's still flat. Okay, so that's that one done. So now I need to do the, um, so can you see how that's making a little bus shape there for me? So now I need to do the waist dart. So again, I'm going to do my little finger press trick, trick and I'm going to press the inside side of the dart leg. I'm gonna put it on top of the other dart leg and I'm going to pin. This time I'm going to pin with the um, the points of the pin going in the downward direction. And just take your time and get those two dart legs on top of each other. And you'll find it a lot easier to do it flat than on the mannequin. So can you see how it's making some shaping there? Just adjust the pins till you're happy with the shape. So I'm doing the bottom part of the waist dart now. And this is giving me my waist shaping because if you think about it, your waist goes in, you've got your bust, then you've got your waist and then you've got your hips. So can you see how it's making a contour shape for me? So this is what it looks like when it's actually on the mannequin. Can you see how it's going in at the waist now? So just so you understand, I've just also pinned it on one side without the dart so you can see exactly what the darts do. 